Well, hello everybody. My name is Jerry Marotti. My partner Greg Marangel. Together we are the, the Wax Hunters. We're back, baby. Woo! It's been a full year since we have done a show. One year since we've done a show with this goddamn COVID. Not not a full year. Almost a full year. Eleven months. I said almost a full year. Well, you said a full year. You're already on me. We're, I'm we've just been saying, away eleven months, and you're you already know, on me. The first thing that they're going to hear is you lying to them. That is not. And what we're, we're here we about. never lie to you we're guys. We're not here about that. We're here about cars. It's been like eleven months, not maybe, maybe ten. All right, whatever. So, got a lot to report. Got a lot to catch up on. A lot of surprises. Got a lot of things to talk about. This is probably one of the best shows. This needs to go viral because the industry, the market had massive changes in 11 months, and we need to cover it. So let's start first. Yep, that's right. I did. I got a 1971 Topps Baseball Cello pack. Jerry, do you have a 1971 Topps Baseball Cello pack? No, but I also have have an 86 Fleer Basketball pack. Do you have that? I mean, I don't. It's not here. what I do have is the Michael Jordan rookie card from the 1986 Fleer Basketball pack, which I had finally and then sold. So I go buy a 1986 Fleer Basketball Michael Jordan Rookie card, which is really the reason why you get the 86 Flair basketball pack. There's no room for cards here. We do unopened wax boxes. Lots of room for cards, especially the iconic great ones. This is where like it's at. Michael Jordan. Oh, the LeBron James rookie card? Yeah, I got that one too. Uh, well, we'll give it to him a little bit. We got to have somebody have this fun. So, you know, it's been 11 months. He's pent up. He's got a lot of energy. He's got a lot of things to go over and report. So we got to get right to it. I mean, some would say I'm the great one. Well, I don't know. He's not oh, stopping. I'm sorry. He's not sorry what is that? That's oh, that, that's Wayne Gretzky's rookie Actually, card. It says reprint. Oh, PSA wouldn't do that. <laughs> There's no reprint on that card. That's the great one, All GM. Right. Well, he he bought some stuff today. I do have to say, he uh, took out some good stuff today. So, where are we going? I, he's just going to keep tormenting me with that. But let's 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 ignore him. For I mean, now. I'll trade it to you. Where are we going with the industry? Where is the market going? Okay, we have seen. A recession of prices in a lot of the cards, a lot of the boxes. But now it should be a buying opportunity for some of these boxes. Look, the new stuff, we don't have production numbers. We don't know what's out there. But 84 football, 2,000 downers of football, you know, 2011 baseball, let, let's, Those are not coming Let's just back. go on a little journey. Going back go? almost a year ago. Yeah. And maybe a little bit further back. Yeah. Jerry, what were some things that we said by? Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I mean, I remember a uh, quite yeah, a bit. 2001 baseball. Yep. I remember talking about that back in like 19, not 19, 2019. 2019. Yeah. Right? That really blew up. I remember. Talking, I mean, pretty much everything we said blew up. Yeah, because the industry blew up, and yet it's coming down a bit. But if you listen to us back when we talked to you the first time, at that time, you cannot lose. They will never get to what you paid for these boxes. So you know that's what we feel still today, where it's at. Unopened older wax, unopened boxes. Is is this considered unopened? Older talk to wax? the hand. I'm talk just, to the hand. Just, I mean, it's 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 nineteen seventy one. It's questionable. Baseball. It's questionable. 19, we won't go there. 1971 Topps Baseball. Look at this. His cards are falling. But <laughs> Michael Jordan. How and Michael you? Jordan jumped off the ship. He didn't oh, want to hear you no I'm more. Go, yeah. You're going to go get him. All right. So anyhow, where are we going with this? So where we're going with this is there is a buying opportunity out there right now, especially in Brady material. Uh, like him, hate him. Uh, he's still red hot. He's still commanding good money. Um, baseball, Mike Trout, uh, still getting good money. A lot of good things uh, are still out there. A non-sports is still uh, moving along. Pokemon, Three Stooges, Batman, a lot of the good packs that are in high grade. The key is get choice material. Don't buy garbage. You want quality over quantity. That's right. You want a good quality Anybody box. Anybody can have a box of 84 Tops football, but not everybody can have a 1971 Tops baseball solo pack. I, you just show, don't see these that often. This show is going I'm sorry, nowhere fast. Just let you know, people. But anyhow, listen, the bottom line is this. Where are we going from here with this market? There are record prices that were sold on Mickey Mantle, LeBron James, 
Wayne Gretzky cards. I mean, record prices in the millions. Kobe Bryant. Connor McDavid. Still. Hockey. Connor McDavid. I mean, there's a lot of... You really have to sift through. From our first podcast, we basically told you what to buy. Anything you bought, it just went crazy. You we, made nothing but money. We gave you the blueprint. Yes. Now we have to really work at it now. Now we really have to figure out what is good, what is bad, what's going to go up, where is there room to make money and collect. Well, we still feel, both of us, older wax, older boxes, sealed material is still king. Um, they're still commanding good prices on eBay. They're still commanding good prices on Heritage Auction. They're still commanding Good prices on Memory Lane. I've noticed a lot of that stuff. And memorabilia also is still making a, a sure. good footprint in the industry other than the cards. You know, autographs, bats, balls, gloves, etc. Look, I get the urge. There's the urge to buy the new stuff. You want to get the new stuff. You like Justin Herbert. You yeah. think Joe Burrow is going to be great. Tua has a cool sounding name. And he's on the Dolphins. And they haven't been good in a long time. I get you want to buy it. And the problem is... There's a lot of new stuff. Like, there's lots of it. Like, people were going crazy buying blaster boxes, Jerry. Blaster boxes. No, not, not people. You. No, not me. I didn't go crazy Every Every time I talked to you, you were in the store getting a box, a blaster box. That's not true. That is absolutely true. That's definitely true. not true. That is absolutely true. If I could find a blaster box for $20, sure. But people were paying $150 for blasters. Right. And some are still doing that. You Stop right. doing that. Stop. Don't buy that. Right. You can buy money away. You can buy three or four packs of a 2000 football Tom Brady pack. Way better buy than some crappy blaster box that you're going to regret buying. And God help you if you open it. Chances are you're not getting your money's worth. There's no. a reason why they sell them for $20. That's right. There's usually $20 worth of value I mean, in you can look for an SP pack, 2000 SP football with Brady's rookie in there. You'll pay about $150 to $200. But it's better than buying. Better than eight, buying Penny eight, Select. Right. Eight blaster boxes or whatever you're going to go after. You really got to sift through this. Now, you know, this, is, this, this podcast is going to be a real critical one because... What we talk about here today, we got to hope comes true like everything else did. And I think we've been in it long enough to know where it's going and how it's going. You know, there's still opening packs on some of the uh, companies that sell shares, um, rip packs open. And that's great. You know, if they want to do it, that's fine. That helps the, the true collector of unopened material because every time a 71 packs open, every time... A box of uh, oh, this eighty-four is a football cello. cello pack is open. Uh, do you have a seventy-one cello I, pack? I, I don't even know if it's real, but whatever. I so mean, it's graded. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's, I, I, I'm sketchy, but he doesn't uh, have one. <laughs> but I think the more boxes that are open, the more packs that are open, the more people out there hold their material. You're gonna you're gonna make money. You're gonna make money. You know, if you just bought what's in front of you. Even though a lot of it's expensive, this is like forty five hundred. This is like three grand. That's like three grand. This is like twenty eight hundred. I mean, there's still room in these things because LeBron is still playing, Brady is still playing, Trout is still playing. Well, so he's hurt right now, but he's well, he's, he's still, still he's, in the league. He's still a real player. He's not. Yeah, he's not retired. So you know, that's where you're gonna have the room to make more money, and that's where we feel that. The industry should go now, or people that are collecting start collecting. Like Greg said, quality over quantity. Yep. Quality boxes. Make sure they're not crushed, damaged. You know, look for that better box. If you're gonna pay a little bit more, it's gonna pay off in the end because yep. that's where that's where you're gonna make money. So. Yeah. So I I did really well this year with selling. Like you gotta know what stuff to sell. So I sold all my new stuff. So I bought. Like I'll still buy new new football and new basketball. I'll still buy that stuff, but I sell it. And that's a good way to make some money to buy some old stuff. So what I did, I sold the new stuff and I bought like all these cool rookie cards that I always wanted. That Jerry hates cards, but I still, I mean, there's still value in cards. There is. People are always going to want a Michael Jordan rookie card Absolutely. or a Wayne Gretzky rookie I, I, card I or a Mike Trout rookie card or Derek Jeter rookie card. Like there's always going to be a need for that. So mm -hmm. utilize that opportunity to sell like the new stuff to get the old stuff because that's, you can still make money doing that. And I endorse the flipping of the new stuff. I don't endorse the opening of the new stuff okay but let's let's throw out there what we recently discovered mm. uh that i had had enlightened you on and uh you uh emphatically agreed 
Okay, 1971 Topps baseball cello pack. I do emphatically is. agree it that you should buy that. it. It is not that. Oh, I thought we were talking about this. 2020 football Panini Contenders. Contenders is king. First off the line box, if you can get it, tell you what to give for it. Uh, if you get it for five uh, hundred, you're doing good. They're going for around eight. You got to shop it. You got to make some offers, but they are out there. You might be able to get it. The three cards alone in there, in nines, I believe, is like double your box money. So, you know, I don't know what people are thinking. I don't know what their their motive is, but you know, how do you sell a box for five to seven hundred? When if you get a gem mint card in there, which is possible, you're talking thousands. But you're talking about them being at a nine, so it doesn't have to be like a gem mint no. ten. It just got to be. A, it was. It was. Yeah. It was bringing your money. It was bringing the money, your money back. back which As is, a matter of fact, let, let me just. Well, you're. So that about that's how you, that's how you can tell if it's a good buy. You always check to see. I, we we use the PSA price guide as like our benchmark. Correct. If it's green and going up, we kind of measure it based off of what the value is of those cards versus what we can get a box for. Um, and look, I, I get it. I buy the new stuff. Like I said, I sell it. But I know Panini Select was the big thing for, for a few months there that people were going crazy over. But the Contenders box has better cards. Like, the value there is always more. In football, Contenders is always, like, the top, top rookie card. Contenders, Prism. They're always, like, 1-2. So that's where you kind of want to be looking for that stuff. Okay, so... Oh, okay, here we for, go. For example... Um, eight, nine, and ten in the contenders. I mean, you're gonna let's say you get the box. Let's just say for six hundred, okay? And this is the PSA price, not what the cards actually right. sell for in uh, eBay. That's correct. And these are all green off season, which is critical. Joe Burrows in an eight is nine hundred. In a nine, it's two thousand. In a ten, it's four thousand. Uh, Tua in an eight is two hundred. In a nine, four fifty. Would you say it's two a hundred? Two a hundred. It's right. In a 10, 1,600. And Justin Herbert, in an 8, 1,000. In a 9, 2,200. In a 10, $6,600. And these are green on PSA. So generally, you're going to get more if you get a gem in 10 than the than the guide. So how are they selling these boxes for that price? We bought them. Um, and we probably still will be buying them if they come around at that kind of price. Yep. Uh, they're still out there. So... I would suggest anyone them up. who likes football, yes, scoop them up. That's our pick. If anything, to to lock yourself in to good money down the line, even when the season starts, you might be able to flip that box for double your money at least. I think that if Herbert, Burrow, or to uh, take off, or Jordan Love takes off at some point. He's in there, but not even yeah. listed on here. Well, and he's going to be yeah, eventually, Aaron too. Rodgers you know, gets his dream wish and gets yep. traded. Jordan Love is, is going to be a... A big time hit. You got Philly with a new court with a quarterback that's gonna have his first full year there. You got five quarterbacks in that class, and that's not even counting the five new quarterbacks that were drafted in the first round of this class. So mm. there are ten teams in the league that have quarterbacks that have uh, been drafted in the last two years. Yeah, that, that box is loaded, and, and you know, twenty twenty one contenders. Uh, you have um, you want to try to pre- Lawrence, but. Well, yeah. you got Trevor Lawrence, you got Mac Jones, you got Trey Land, you got a lot of guys. I think the 2020 is a better buy. Well, uh, for, yeah, right now, for, for right, right now, for right now, because you got you got two, you got Herbert who's already established, and you got two other guys that have a good chance of being you know Pro Bowlers. Mm. You and, know, it's hard to say why the industry sort of cooled off a little bit, but I think part of it was there was a wave, a frenzy of people just trying to get in, trying to buy stuff, and it just went. Crazy. I mean, like we did. Well, I think a big part of it was... So, for a lot of you watching, I know that you're on Facebook. I know you're watching the live breaks and the, the box breaks and things like that. And that's where the blaster boxes really took off, or with those box breaks. So, people were buying teams. They were throwing money out there trying to catch good cards. They thought they were buying in cheap. And listen, I saw people spending hundreds and thousands of dollars every day just to have a piece of a blaster box, of like five blaster boxes, <laughs> you're dropping hundreds of dollars when you could just be buying something that's going to actually go up in value as opposed to just a lottery ticket. Correct. And I get you like the chase and the gamble, but the hunt is just as fun and it's more profitable. And I'll tell you, I sold a lot of my like a lot of the new stuff this past year, and I paid for my entire wax collection. Yeah. Everything I have, I still have all my good stuff, and I basically got it for free because I'm able to sell all that new stuff that's being overproduced like crazy. And that's right. the other thing. And they, they are give numbers overproducing producing. like crazy. And I guarantee you, 2021. 
and win stuff, you're going to see so many cards right now. And that's where you're going to go to the old stuff. And that's what ruined the industry back when I was in it in 92, 93, 91. It, too many uh, uh, manufacturers came out and it was just flooded the market with, uh, with product. Uh, one example, I remember Pacific Football. Uh, they were paying like $800 a case. Pacific Football. That's a Pacific Football card right there. Oh, okay. And then, uh, you know, a year later, the case wasn't worth $50. So, you know, that was the overproduction. But yep. this stuff, there is no overproduction. It is what it is. How many, still out there. how many versions of a Joe Montana rookie card are there? One. How many versions of a Dan Marino rookie card are there? One. How many versions of a John Elway rookie card are there? One. How many versions of an actual Michael Jordan rookie card? Not the star rookie card, but his actual rookie card. One. One. The old stuff, there's only one rookie card. Yeah. So, like, if you look at, like, this past year, like, Herbert, there are, I mean, literally, I counted, I kid you not, in, I think it was, I think it was Prism, there were... 50 almost 50 different variations of one card but you know the crazy thing about that and even though we just said sorry i'm having trouble hearing you i know siri everyone has trouble hearing jerry who heard who is siri oh, okay you, 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 somehow she uh she interrupted our show you she listen she's a part I don't of know it if too. that's gonna make it I, I would say get the edit button i don't know that would be way too much work okay. you're gonna hear siri well all right she's so a anyhow. part she's a part of the show well, there you go i lost my train of thought Siri, you threw Jerry off the train. She the, really threw wait, me what, off. what is it? <laughs> oh, yeah, 1971 top style oh, football. Oh, I, no, baseball. no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, no, we're, back to we're Herber, talking about back to Herber and how there's 50 so different here's, variations here's of cards. Here's the funny thing about it, and, and we said by the contenders that he's still bringing top dollar in all the variations. That's what's scary. But the contenders card specifically, I mean, that's Brady's biggest rookie card. Right. Like right. that's the that's, that's like the, the Cadillac that's of the, the rookie best. Cards. That's his best rookie card. I would say. So that box, even oh, well, you know. if everything else is over overproduced, that contenders box always will have the highest valued card true. in any football set. True. True. So um, contenders is good. Yeah. You know, yeah. No, the contenders is good. It and, may not be the prettiest card, but it's the best card. No, and, and that's where you got to go with trying to figure out how to collect and make money because that's all we said you could do. Now we're selling stuff. Now we weren't in the beginning. We are even myself is selling some of the stuff because I'm probably going to reinvest it in other things that I want. So if anybody that's watching is interested in anything, just give us leave us a message of what you're looking for. And if one of us, you know, can't find it or do it or have it, we can tell you where you can look. Um, but we have a lot of stuff. So somebody out there that wants to collect will be willing to part with some stuff. Not everything, but some stuff. I won't. Well, you already did uh, a lot of your stuff. But some of my stuff I will part with. I have my eye on a couple of things that I do want. And hopefully in future shows, if I do obtain a certain pack that I want, that will be showing you. So... It won't be that way. It's for sale. It won't be you that can way. buy this it pack right now. I'll way. trade it to you for it a 1986 for basketball pack. Be, no, you won't yes, I will. I will 100% make that deal today. There you go. Tell them right out there. Yeah, 1986 for basketball pack. Straight up for this. All Jerry has to do is say, oh, wait, by the way, hold on. I, I almost forgot about this because you forgot to put the box out. But in the non-wax realm, there were two boxes that were up for discussion. Oh no! Maybe a year, oh, year no. and a half ago. Yeah, you know, just a, a debate. Cut. We might get the cut. There, might, there was a cut, debate. You cut, know, cut. Jerry was of the belief that <laughs> this this little known box that's still little known. Here's Bo. Where is she? No one knows She's because retired. no one buys the box. She's retired. It stayed at thirty dollars. Then it's thirty dollars now. Meanwhile, it, no, it did not. It in went up a little Springfield, bit. somewhere USA. Yeah. Those lovable scamps, the Simpsons. Yeah. The, the, that stuff went up. The future predictors. They're like Nostradamus of cartoons. That's right. So, and I'm like Nostradamus of non-wax cars. The Simpsons went up. I told you to do it. The red box from Skybox. Ba-boom. I got it for 200 It's going for like 600 The blue box. It's like 150 to 200 bucks. Those are good buys. You could have gotten those for 50 bucks. There's a 89 tops out there. Get that box. You get it for like 20 30 bucks. That's we, good. We, It's a good buy. We heard it. And we understand we did, but but the but real, that, that's the, the real one the real meaning of a good buy is this box right here. Bo Derek's, that I bought. Yeah, Bo Derek's not in that box for three hundred dollars. It's worth 
close to three thousand dollars. Roughly the That's same value box. as this pack, which I'll trade you for that box. Now, you're going home with that pack. I mean, it's a pack. it's a cherished me treasure in my collection. Okay, great. So back to where we were, and back to saying that you know where is the market going? I think the market has hit a speed bump, and. Um, you know, you're going to need a whole new wave of collectors or to re-energize, revitalize what uh, people are collecting and how they're collecting. Like I said, I'll keep reiterating, the old wax, the unopened material is where it's at. Unopened packs, unopened boxes, you know, quality stuff. Look for it. It's recessed a little. You can get a good buy, but rest assured, you have Wall Street investing in uh, cards and funds. They're selling, I don't know if you saw it, shares of an actual card. Yeah, so, I, 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 did I, you see that? I shared that with you. Oh, you told me about that? I, yeah. I just saw it on the thing again. There's an app that you can buy where you can buy shares of a card. I saw it, I think, on Facebook. You, you saw it when I showed it to you. No, no, no. I saw it. Some Is it the same one? It's got to be, yeah. Well, they were saying like $2 a share, $5 a share. Something here. like that. You're buying a You're buying into a $250,000 card. Save your money. Buy, buy, buy a pack. Then sell the pack and buy the card. True. That's how I got the Michael Jordan rookie card. True. That's how I got Wayne Gretzky's rookie card. Yeah, Derek Jeter, yeah. Mike Trout, you Tom can, Brady. You can find buys. He did it. He, he found an 86 Fleer pack with Larry Bird on the back. Uh, he bought it for a very shockingly good price. Shocking. Because because the auction's ending at cuckoo hours of the night. I don't know what they're thinking. That's part but, of what you have to look for, too. Right. You have Nobody's to see up like, at 3 o'clock in the you morning. You have to see when an auction ends. And also, another thing that helps is if they're doing a bunch of the same pack all at once. Yeah. That's an opportunity. Like, everyone scamper. goes for one. Yeah. I went for this one, and I somehow got that pack for under 2000 bucks, And at, flipped it for? Uh, almost 5000 bucks. In two, and three weeks. In not even three weeks. Okay. So. And then I flipped that for a Michael Jordan rookie card and kept the kept the difference for myself. And then I bought Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. So so perfect example. This is where we get serious and say you can still collect, you can still achieve what you really want, and you can do it moving pieces in the market. Um, it's not to say that that guy that bought that pack made a mistake. He didn't. Nope. Um, he hangs on to that pack for two, three, four years. I mean, mine was a 10-year plan. Mine was to re start collecting in 2017 and in 2027 to just put it in a collection, put it put it in a catalog, give it to Heritage, give it to somebody and say, here's my whole collection. Let somebody else enjoy it. Well, guess what? It's 2021 and it blew up. Yeah, beyond no, our, beyond our. Nobody could have seen the boom no, coming. No. I mean, we saw we the, saw we potential. saw the stuff going up. We didn't see it going right. up the way it did. No, but no. if you listened to us early on, you <laughs> would have gotten in Woo! when we did, and Woo! I mean, him even a little bit sooner, and you would have done really well, really and, well. And like, I mean, there are things. I mean, to your point, like like PWCC Vault is my favorite thing. Thank you to everyone who uses PWCC Vault because I have had so many millionaires buy stuff from me and say, just send it to my vault. They don't even get the stuff. They literally take it and put it in a vault. Well, I have one going in now. Yeah. I mean, uh, they, a, just, a they, they just save it there. And, like, that's what they're doing. They're collecting some of this old stuff. 1980 football. I sold it for almost $1,500. I... I mean, hey, good for you. You can buy that box for about six hundred, but you know, every time it goes in the vault, that's one less thing that's out in the open. That's right, and that stuff staying there. Yeah, it's not moving. They're not. So, they're not flipping. So, like, God bless. I love the PWCC vault, and I love the people that open up the boxes. Both of those things are great. But what, to Jerry's point, people are like high end people are buying this stuff and holding it. And I guarantee you, they're not going to let that market crash. No, they can't. There's too much money in it. There's, yep. there's, there's. Look. About, I want to say a year ago, I saw two armed guards and a guy sitting at a table with a check on the table for two LeBron cards, $7 million. So if anyone thinks they're going to let this market collapse with that kind of money in it, you're, you're dead wrong. The only thing we see right now is a good buying opportunity for the next buys. wave. There's a lot of good buys out There's there. There's a lot of good buys for the next wave. Especially on the old stuff. Tell them yeah. about the baseball pack you picked up. The, the sixty, uh, the sixty-six, correct? I thought it was sixty-six first series. The, the what? That, and oh no, and I also picked up the the Bowman football small. Yeah. Okay, so two packs. Uh, one a nineteen sixty-six uh baseball tops. 
first series, which is the Mickey Mantle, Mickey Mantle. series, which is the key. Um, that pack was picked up for twenty two hundred, and it's booking at five grand. The other pack was a nineteen fifty two, which I'm still in shock. Uh, one cent Frank Gifford's rookie year uh, football pack. It I picked it up for six fifty, and it books for over a thousand dollars. Yeah, and and you're buying below. PSA, which, which is, never happens. Never happens. You never, you never, Very never, rarely. never, never, never get a pack for below PSA. Yeah, price. it's it, like but the, again, it's the hour again, of the, the yeah. it was the hour of the And our guide is always the same thing. We look at the PSA price guide. Yep. One, if it's green, we're interested. Two, if we can get the pack below what that price guide says, we know we're getting a good buy. Chances because, are we chase it. Because nothing ever goes below book for uh, unopened wax. You know, and, and, and just the, to show you there's things out there that I have that are not to be found. They're not anywhere to be found on eBay. They're not anywhere to be found at Heritage. Uh, and, and the boxes I'm talking about are two. 2015 Basketball National Treasures and 2015... You know, you're, you're a National Treasure. Today. I sure am. Uh, 2015 Immaculate. There, there's one guy who has an Immaculate box on Facebook. I mean... eBay. eBay. And he wants forty-five thousand dollars for the box, which completely is not worth it. He marked it down to like twenty-two thousand or twenty. Not worth it. I got my box at ten or eleven. Um, that's not what you bought it for. That's what you have it listed for. Right. That's what I have it listed for. And I'm just letting it sit there. But I couldn't sell both of those boxes at one point in time when it started to to level off for fifteen hundred each box. And that's Jokic, uh, yep. uh, MVP, MVP in there, and that's green on PSA, and that's going to get some traction. So, I think Devin so when Booker's you find in there too. box Devin Booker, that's right, Carol Anthony Towns, I think, is in there. The cat, I mean, not, he's in not there. his best year, but maybe he bounces back next but year. But his his prices are through the roof. So you know, those are the kind of boxes you might want to look at and and see what you could pick them up for. Um, the other thing too, just to point out, and this is really important when you're selling your stuff, don't get desperate. So. Jerry and I both do the same thing. We set the price kind of high yep. because we're not desperate to sell it. No. But if somebody wants to overpay us for it or they really want it and we're the only ones that have it, give us an offer. we can set the price. We'll do best offer and yep. see what happens. Yep. But don't settle for below what the going rate is because unless you're in an absolute – and if you're in an absolute need to sell it, call us. We'll take it. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, for the most part, hold it. Like don't, don't settle for less. I mean, that's what I did with 1980 football. I got $1,500 for it. They were going for six, seven hundred dollars, but because it was in tremendous condition, it was wrapped by BBCE. It had it checked all the boxes for a premium you know, collector. Someone was willing to pay more for it, so hold out. This it. almost reminds me of the stock market in two thousand eight. Everyone got scared, yeah, and they were selling in panic. I seen stocks at the time, uh, Bear Stearns, uh, people that remember it. It was two dollars a share. By the end of the day, it was ten. So, you know, everybody gets scared and they unload yep. it. And I think the same thing is happening in carts. People bought um, maybe at a, a good price. They see the market start recessing. They start panicking. Oh, my God. Oh, it's, my God. It's not like a digital currency. It's not like Bitcoin no. or Dogecoin or whatever. whatever you, however, it's whatever this, it's called. This is, this is you can touch and feel. They're not making any more of this. People got to get understand. They're, they're not, not making, making any more 1971 Topps baseball cello packs. You, you do thumbs up. This was your dream, these packs. I have it. I have it. But you, I mean, you, you have a pack. I have a pack. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Just saying. I don't have a solo pack. But, but you can touch pack. and feel this pack. Get, you can touch and feel the 86 flare basketball, too. He's not getting it. So I, mean, and, I had it. And any, well, you, well, you're not but your this. point, yes, you're right. You don't go crazy for the stuff you can't touch and feel. NFC stuff is, exactly. is going kind of cuckoo right now. And look... I know that people are collecting that right now. It's the same thing as the Bitcoin and all the digital currencies. You know, it's just another way to create something that's collectible. But I got to tell you, I'd rather have something I can hold and transact, you know, face to face, hand over, actually hold and look at versus something that's digital that just exists out it's of It's in air. the air. And these, these, what are they, NFTs? NFC. No, NFTs, the, 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 the clips that they're buying. Right. NFC? Or T's. Well, now you've got me questioning myself, I Jerry. Think it's NFT. Regardless, they're selling clips of sports people. They're getting tens of thousands of dollars for it. 
whereas you can buy a rookie card and hold it in your hand. Uh, instead, you're owning a piece of film in the cloud or the internet, and they're getting big money for it. So, you know, it's getting out of hand. Sorry, it's an NFT. I, I'm, I'm mistaken. I'm thinking of... Sure, you just stick uh, to your 71 cello. I'm thinking okay? of the technology where He's you can just... thinking of the NFC in football, how Brady's going to win another Super Bowl. Uh, and if you go out and buy Brady stuff now, when he wins another Super Bowl, boop, there goes the price. That, through the roof. I mean, it went through the roof already. And it's going to go through another I'll tell you roof. another one to, <laughs> to jump in on. So Mahomes, I bought his yeah, rookie card. Okay. So his Domrus or Domrus Optic rated rookie card at the peak of the Super Bowl, like the playoffs leading up to the Super Bowl, that card in a nine, just the regular Domrus Optic was going for over a thousand dollars. You can get one of those now for about three hundred bucks. I right. guarantee so you it's, it's that it's going to go back. It's going to go back up. So if you're going to buy a card, that's a good one to pick up because it's going to go up and you can flip it. And it's based on. Um, demand when they start when is you know out of sight out of mind yeah that's exactly you know, it when they had the the show on Jordan and Kobe everything was going crazy Jordan then blew up it, it died down and everything died down you know who they're doing shows on next who Tom Brady okay Derek Jeter okay so I'm willing to bet that their cards are good go. and you can get boxes pretty good for Jeter you this can... box I thought I paid overpaid um, seventeen hundred dollars for this box. And I even said to Greg, I said, I, I think I overpay for this box. It's $4,500 now. Yeah. So, And this is a recent purchase. So, you know, there's still money out there to be made. You're no always going to do well with Mike Trout. You can't yeah, beat Mike Trout uh, cards. It's, 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 that's a nice card. Yeah. And, and, you know, uh, bottom line, he's red hot um, still. He's, and he's, he's going to be. I mean... He's he's the best of his generation, right? And you know? and that's what it's that's what it's propelled by. The also the thing you have to worry about with new stuff, and we didn't talk about it, is we don't know these people. We don't know what goes on behind closed doors. I mean, when you're investing thousands of dollars in a player that you believe in, and then find out he gets arrested for a DUI, for a sexual assault, for a domestic, any one of those things on a sports superstar will absolutely affect the price of the card. Sure. I mean, really bad. So, you know, be careful, again, when you're buying the new stuff. You know, uh, Mickey Mantle is not getting no DUI. <laughs> Babe true. Ruth is not getting no DUI. Now, if they were alive today, I, uh, well, I, I don't know if I could say the same okay. thing. <laughs> but my point is, they already established their legacies, their cards are established, and they're still bringing top value so you know concentrate on the ones that are that are established that you really know through the years following that they're they're not going to run to any trouble any illegalities and that's going to protect your investment it's going to protect your value of your cards in the long run so you got to you got to keep an eye on that it's it's critical it yeah. is it is a definitely a critical thing to True. look at so. and you know just be ahead of it if 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 you don't feel good about something or a player dump it you know it's the nice thing about yeah, like I mean, don't unless it's somebody that you absolutely love the nice thing about this stuff is it's easily movable you yeah, know so you can yeah. always trade it in and get something else that you do like absolutely and, and you know like i said we said from all the podcasts and, and this one it's been a long time and a lot of things have changed so you know now you're really well at the time when we were saying buy things that we thought were going to be long-term investments, ended up being short-term explosions. They just went through the roof, and they're still, you know, considerably but, up there. But now you have to really do your homework. Yeah, you to get, see what you're going to buy. Sometimes you have to look in uh, in unconventional places. So we talk about wax. So I picked up this version of a tooth of a original, very first ever Sports Illustrated That's magazine. Cool. It's super cool. I've always wanted this ever since I was a kid. I used to love Sports Illustrated. But I'm going to show you something really cool about it. Yeah, there's something unique in this that that is... Because hey, um, you may be thinking, I don't know, Greg, why are you showing us a Sports Illustrated magazine yeah, well, on a show about wax? Well, well, I'll tell you why. There we go. It's got an uncut sheet of Topps baseball that, cards. That's unbelievable. I, I, I still can't get over that. I right. mean... So it's got actual cards built into it, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And I these mean, make it super collectible. Absolutely. So you can pick these up right now. You can find them sometimes for under 100 bucks. They actually sell, depending on the condition, between anywhere two to five hundred dollars. And this is the first edition. If you get the third, ed the third edition, it's got. I mean, you got Ted Williams right down here. Got Ted Williams in this one. Mickey Mantle's in the third edition. Wow. Pick them up. They're cheap. I mean, that's pretty cool. Now, see, there's something where there's room. I mean, you know, eventually those are going to dry up. 
and somebody's going to want them. And guess what? Supply and demand. They're going to pay for it. People don't think about stuff like this. No. Especially newer collectors. They may not even know to look for something like this. I really never even thought about it until you brought it to my attention. The cards in the magazine... Or what, that's the key. That's what made this magazine blow up initially, especially with kids. So yeah, can you imagine that at the time your your favorite star was inside, yeah. and, and you're collecting those cards, and yet you have a sheet of all those cards. Now, granted, it's in paper form, not in cardboard, but still. nonetheless, it's still the actual card at that actual time. It's from literally, it's from 1954. That was the it's, year of that. Yeah. That, that series. That's yeah. 1954. 1954 Tops cards. Yeah. So, you know, those are the kind of things, you know, like I said before, you got to hunt. You got to look around. You well, just, you know it's what? not going to fall on your lap. Because we're not the wax lookers. No, wax hunters. We're the <laughs> wax hunters. <laughs> and, and we're still looking for stuff. I mean, like I said, I'm, I I can't honestly say I can buy frequently because there you really got to sift through it you guys just scratch your head sometimes and just figure out where you're going to find a good buy yeah well you better scratch your head because there's nothing in there with that pack but in any event you know what i'll tell you what anybody that wants this pack out there throw an offer i'm telling you he'll take it and i mean don't throw high offers throw low balls don't he, low ball me i won't sell it to you he'll dump it he'll dump trust me he'll dump it i won't anyhow so getting to the point which we're getting at and, and talking about where we're headed, where the market's headed. Again, now is a buying opportunity. Now is a good time to 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 look at certain boxes. Granted, there's not all buys out there, but there are boxes even at their peak, there's still room because they have much more to go than what they're currently you know selling for. There's light production. There's not a lot out there. You know, wax is drying up daily. People ripped open through this frenzy. They opened up hundreds tons and tons of boxes. Old, new. You don't even know what the fallout's going to be from this. You have no idea. People, PS, they, literally, they literally opened it up just to uh, get views on their well, social what about, media. What about PSA? Well, PSA literally, they literally shut, year. They shut down. Yeah, because they there just so opened much back up. In. They had an overhire. You know, I mean, <laughs> you to get a pack graded right now, it's still it's gonna be over a year to get it back from yeah, PSA. Yeah, I got I got one more in the queue. Yeah. that that's going on seven months, and it's only in the third. Now, when we sent in those two thousand playoff contenders packs, it yeah. took us nine months, and that was before the card boom. Nine months. So yeah. just imagine how long it's gonna to take to get the stuff that you've been sending in this past year. Right. So what is the industry how, is? Where is, do they get that yeah, stuff? It's people opening stuff up. Yep. That's where they got it. So. so Sealed sealed wax is still king. You know, wrapped stuff by BB, even BBCE was so over flooded with 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 uh, boxes with boxes that they had to you know increase the limits of what they were taking. They they wouldn't take a box under a thousand dollars. Yeah, it started at three, right, and then it went to a thousand. So if you had a box that you had to send, if in, you have like a box of Hair's bow, it's never gonna get wrapped by BBC <laughs> anymore because it'll never be. Or worth, Simpsons, it wouldn't get wrapped. That's not true. I, Simpsons, true. I have wrapped Simpsons boxes, but it's not worth over a thousand dollars, so you can't get it wrapped now. One day, Jerry, my yeah. dream. One day. <laughs> We'll do a show just on Simpsons one day for him. To, his dream will come Yeah, he through. knocks it, but he's got boxes of The Simpsons. I have one box. He's I bought two. it because you tortured me. He's got two because I gave you two boxes at least. So maybe you have three. I'd have to look. It's not on my bucket list. But anyhow. So in, in closing here, uh, we will be uh, doing this uh, uh, again um, to just see... You know, from this podcast to, you know, the next one, where did the market actually go? What's the gauge? What's the what's the benchmark? Because right now it's all over. There's no there's no bottom. I don't think there's any bottom because everything is uniquely different. There isn't a bottom on this. There isn't a bottom on Brady. You know, it's, there it's, is a bottom on the new stuff though. So just be correct. cautious with the new correct. stuff. New correct. New stuff. New stuff, especially this coming year, is gonna be crazy overproduced. So don't go super crazy on it. Well, if, if if card companies are listening to this, the one thing you need to do is don't overproduce. Yeah. Don't ruin the industry. Don't ruin the collectability. It's about collecting. It's not about flooding the market so that everybody has a Justin Herbert rookie card. Because okay? if everybody has one, it's not special anymore. It, it's not special anymore, you know, but... You know, not everybody can have a Brady rookie card because of the prices or or a good Trout rookie card because of the prices. Okay, great. But if they produce cards and people get lucky enough, you know, look, take the instant lottery. Not everyone's a winner. 
And Wait. that's why they only put two or three million dollar tickets. Because if everyone was a million dollar ticket, what would the lottery be? But you know what, Jerry? You can't win if you don't play. And you can't win if you don't buy. That's what we say. So on that, my name is Jerry Marotti. My partner, Greg Marangel, is here next to me. We are the, the Wax Hunters. Hunters. You guys have a great day. You waxy we will sons see of guns. you soon. Stay and stay waxy. waxy. We're out. Peace.